Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, so today, we have a couple of kind of nuclear drip marketing that Honka Sarah just did. They kind of just like fed us every character for like the next 10 patches, I feel like, or something crazy like that. So, so that's exciting. But before we jump into it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and let's jump into it. Well, that is, what we have is Yun Li. Crazy. So, Yun Li, let's see what we can see first. So, Yun Li, yeah, that's fine. Physical destruction. Cool. That's fine. Uh, and then let's read here. So satellite communications. You need swords have a temper. Sometimes you have to touch them to calm them down. Put the hilt on a sword in your hand and it'll tell you what's wrong. A sword hunter from the Jianzhu Zhu Ming and the Flaming Heart General Huayan's darling granddaughter. Rank and straightforward. Oh, Huayan is a general. So he's like the, you know, like Jing Yuan's colleague, I guess. Uh, she practiced swordsmanship and forging the Huayan since young, and thus is the second youngest prodigy or master of the Flame Will oh Octet. Built by an intense loading for the cursed swords and emerged from the Zhu Ming, she was to hunt down and wipe out all cursed swords. English voice Brenna Larson. I don't know what that is. Cool. So, first impressions. She's cute. Uh, you know, what else can you say, really? Uh, that's about. All I'm gonna say, because apparently she's 14 or something. So yeah, even though she doesn't necessarily look like it, but yeah, anyway. Um, but yeah, there was like the whole drama, right? but I'm not gonna go into that. Um, but yeah, she looks cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip her, because I'm not interested in this character. And yeah, that's about it. Like, yeah, she may be cool in game, but like, I don't think that's gonna be enough to persuade me. Plus, for 2.3, I'm pulling for Firefly and Jade, so I'm not gonna have any pulls for Yunli. Like, no, no way. So that's fine. Then we have Zhao Xu. Zhao Xu, Hong Saral. Bayard Nihilti, five star. Yep. So he's like the first like Foxian guy that we had. But to be honest, he just looks like a normal dude. Doesn't look anything fancy or crazy. Uh he's like cooking something. Like a horse. He's like fanning the flames or something, maybe something like that. Cool. So he may be like a like an ability like buffer type thing. Because again, he's not like making the flames, he's like you know when you do like the wind, so like the fire like increases and stuff. What are you fanning the flames? I, I just said that. Um but yeah, anyway. So we have that, and then we have his speech. The telecommunication is Zhao Ju. No matter how many times I say it, people always forget cooking is medicine and medicine is cooking. It's for to treat the sex is my specialty. As the saying goes, a chef who doesn't know what doesn't want to be a healer isn't worth his salt or pepper for that matter. A healthy healer. Walks in from the Zhangzhou Yao Qing and a counselor often greets people with a smile, but is rather cunning. Born into a produce prestigious alchemy commission family he once withdrew from practicing medicine due to a broken heart uh, okay however he returned to the field to treat the burning claw general fei xiao oh fei xiao is the general for that for the yao Ching. skilled in the study of alchemical prescription they have used food as medicine especially those that induce in a sensation of spiciness they invented a cauldron based medicine formula known as the nine squared grid mark witten don't know what that is either um he Nihility healer. I mean, he'd make. Um, I can't remember, it's easier to build, that's for sure. Because then you could have, like, him as a sustain, then Acheron, then another Nihility, like, I don't know, like. Like Silver Wolf, Ella. Black Swan by herself? I want to put Kafka by herself because, like, you know, that's not really that good. It depends if he does dots or not. If he also does dots somehow or while also sustaining, then that's gonna go crazy. But otherwise, Kafka, no. Who's that in the hilt I'm missing? That's be someone else. Oh, yeah, like a uh, thingy. Luca, Sampo, Gunifen. Maybe again, because he's fanning the flames. Maybe he like buffs fire dot. So maybe Gunifen? Because they're both from the Zhangzhou, maybe they did like some big brain combo there or something like that. Uh, that would be pretty cool. Uh, maybe it's also like, you know, a buffer sustainer and like Nihil T, which falls in the Acheron slot, right? So that fourth slot, you can just fill it up with a Harmony character. 
to just buff Acheron like crazy. Like, a, you know, Sparkle, Bronia, Ron May, Robin, May, maybe not really, but yeah, stuff like that. Crazy. Ting Yun. Yeah, I think you could work. Um, if you have like a dot nihility character on your team. Crazy. But from the way he looks, and to be honest, I'm not that interested. Because again, I won't have any pulls probably by then. So, this may be just like a skip patch. Who knows? But yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, but I just realized I was blocking like the text so that you can read that. Cool. But yeah, cool. I mean, it's just like some normal dude. No, I don't really care. And it's a sustain. So again, I don't really care. I've kind of like skipped all of the sustains in this game. The only one I pulled for was Fushuan. And I got her in once temple. So, I mean, you know, like, can you blame me? Um, so yeah, I may just skip another sustain again. Because uh, Bailu is still fine as sustaining. Now we have Gallagher for the break teams as a sustainer. And kind of Acheron team as well. Like the sustainer for Acheron. Because uh, he applies the debuffs, right? Um, so yeah. I think we have our sustain is fine. Unless this guy does something crazy where he gives like a million damage percent up or something, then I think he's kind of an easy skip if you've been playing this game for a while anyway. Uh, if you're new, he's going to be amazing because again, sustains in the early game are like what you need, right? And like I'm good right now because I have Fushuan, right? And like my other sustains are built and good and stuff like that. So yeah, but if you're new, a sustain is never a bad pickup. It's just like if you like him or not. Uh, so yeah, maybe his story goes crazy and then may that, that may convince me, but I don't think so. <laughs> I think I'm just keeping the whole patch, which is pretty cool. Because 2.3 is going to go crazy. So I'm going to have some time to like, cool down with pulls and all that. So yeah, we have that. And we also have like further drip marketing. We have the Lofu's War Dance, which is like where all of these people like... Uh, not the Lofus, just the Jean Zhou's War Dance Festival thingy. That's why they explained that. And yeah, they released this guy, Legendary New Soul, the girl. I mean, she looks like, you know, there's something going on there. So, uh, the Legendary New Swordmaster. So, it's pretty cool. Um, nothing really else to say again, because it's just silhouettes, right? We can't really see much. It looks like she uses two swords. Pretty cool. Um, so, that's her, whatever her name is. Then we have Hua Yan. So we already know that this guy is the Zhu Ming's general. So he's probably going to be like OP or something. Like an OP DPS. But he looks like some old guy. So I don't know about that. Um, like, you know, like the general like Asian old guy. He looks like, you know, like not generalizing or anything. But you know. Um, cool. And then we have Yun Li. Again, we already know about Yun Li. She has like a big ass sword though. That's crazy. I wonder how that's going to look. Because I wasn't in here. I just like her defeating the great the cursed swords. Oh wait, is that the thing behind her? Her sword. There's like a red thing. You see that? Oh, like that's a. I don't know. Okay, I, you know she may go kind of crazy. I'm not gonna lie, but we'll have to see. In it, then we have some other characters. A Xiao. Now I already said in the in the live stream reaction. She looks hot already. So that's pretty cool. Uh, like two small blades. So like kind of like an assassin type of thing. The Yao Ching may be like the assassin place. That's pretty cool. Because like we have Moses as well. Which is guys an assassin looking uh, guy. Yeah, he looks like a guy, I would say. Uh, but I mean, it could be a girl as well. I don't know. Cool. So we have that. And we have Lingxia. Right, if Lingxia isn't like a mommy body type. Wow. Uh, I'm not gonna be happy. Cause maybe Fei Xiao is gonna be like a mommy type, but I don't it doesn't look like it. She may be like Ting Yun type, you know, not like full on like Black Swan. Um But she may be like full on Black Swan. But she may also be full like full, uh, like Jing Liu. She also looks like Jing Liu. So yeah, we're gonna get a mommy character for a while, looks like <laughs> a bit unlucky, but there you go. Cool, so we have these guys, that's fine. Then we also have our girl. Oh my god. So hold on, before I look into this, let's watch the Summer Game Fest. Oh. 
because this is where the drip marketing happened finally so yeah let's see coming ex expedition featuring a beloved character who is okay. clearly ready let's try that again for the forthcoming <laughs> journey with her brand new look why do people choose to sleep it's because they're afraid to wake up from the dream you see everything is possible in this land of dreams okay they're just kind of hyping up in a corner right now all the characters that came out like nearly all of them <laughs> she goes crazy Right, they already paired them up. They know Super Break is saying. Okay. They really made the male MC on Firefly. That's crazy. <laughs> More dance. Oh my god. Bro, she's so cute. What the fuck? Wait, that's it. No, man. That was like two seconds. Hell no. Nah. God. March 7 using swords. Now that's that's something that I didn't expect. Got name. Huh. She looks oh my god. This is so good. <laughs> I love this like whatever this is, like with the hair at the top, like these like what do you call them? Some would be. We know Togo. Wow, that looks that looks cute. She looks like a panda. <laughs> I don't know why it just looks like like a panda bear. Right, cool. So we have that, and we have this as well. So March seventh, Honkai Star Rail, Imaginary Hunt. Well, goodbye, Doctor Ratio. I guess that lasted a while. I mean, it did. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he's already getting replaced by Jade anyway. So. Uh, Part of my manners, March 7 is Jianzhu in a Jianzhu style outfit, a sword wielding female martial artist, learning sword machine for both Yun Li and Yang Qing. Oh, that's cool. Well, that's gonna be an interesting uh, interaction. She's eager to create more beautiful memories on the Jianzhu pom pom steps. Participate in the event to unlock March 7's new path. Stay tuned. And it's Skylar Davenport again. Cool. Whoop. Come on. These. Yeah, and there she is. Right. She's so cute. <laughs> I wonder, yeah, if she's gonna die. That's crazy. Um, but no, this isn't like a transformation. It's just like she's learning swordsmanship for some reason. We're gonna have to see how that pans out, but yeah, anyway. Uh, March 7th. Nice. And... Oh, participate in the event to unlock March 7th's new path. So what this means, again, because in the 2.0 live stream, way back in the, well, way back, a couple of months, um, they said that the way this is going to work, is going to work like the MC. You're going to be able to switch between, uh, like, imaginary hunt march and the the ice preservation march, right? So you're going to be able to switch between the two. So what's going to happen is she isn't going to be a pullable character. She's just going to, you're just going to unlock her during the mission. And you're going to be able to switch. So we're getting a free character, essentially. Um, and she may be really good. Imaginary Hunt. Maybe. I don't know. Because, again, we don't really need Hunt at the moment. So uh, we'll see what happens with that. But yeah, that's pretty cool. March 7th. I should just kill fuck though. Okay. Why not they done this for, like, the Chinese players, right? It's, like, it's the whole, like, Chinese design and stuff like that going on for the cover girl, right? Uh, so, yeah, they're going to... Chinese people are definitely going to get high for that. Well, yeah. that's about it. 
uh, drip mark insane drip marketing and yeah cool let me know how you feel about the drip marketing if you're excited for 2.3 2.4 2.5 2.6 maybe even i don't know uh depending how many of these characters are actually gonna get as pullable characters but yeah sick um uh, yeah if you're also excited for the story like what's gonna happen how we're gonna go back to the angio oh, that's gonna go crazy right uh are we just gonna leave Penaconi forever and that's it like that quickly or something like that but anyway and there it is so yeah if you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to comment. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.